Hi everyone and welcome for this brand new video. Today we are going to focus on one part of all the different tutorial I do on all the different miniatures for the Project Marvel Crisis Proto. That's a complete part of painting and you can use it on all kinds of miniatures. By the way, if you want to see all the process to paint all the miniatures of Marvel Crisis Protocol Core Box, you can come and um, follow me and support me on Patreon so you will have access to more content. You can always support me by a like this video, uh, share with your friends and don't hesitate to comment to tell me what do you think about my different painting work. Thanks again for watching this and let's go for the painting. And now I'm going to apply some Kartik Red to have the first color of red on my vehicle. Uh, going to let the first layer uh, being totally dry and after we, uh, we will apply a second layer. Let's go for a second layer of Kartik Red. And let's go for a third layer of Kartik Red just to have something more uniform and something more covering. And now I'm going to apply my pure red from Army Painter everywhere on my minis. I try to preserve some surfaces, but by the way, I'm going to apply it in different layer for having some nice transition. can see step by step with my airbrush I'm going to focus on some few surfaces where I'm going to take the more light that's going to create my transition and my different level of red on all the minis. And now to finish the basic of red, I'm going to apply some medium orange only on some few edges. By the way, I'm going to choose the surfaces where I'm going to take some more light.
And now with some sunny skin tone from Aka, I come back and I put just some points of highlight on the part we're going to take some more light. So depending on the intensity you want into your red, you can come back on more or less surfaces with your orange medium first and after sunny skin tone uh, to create more reflection surfaces, more reflection edges, to have something, something more brilliant. And now I come back with some panel liner and I'm just going to apply on the different surfaces who are not going to be in red. And by the way, that's going to go into the recesses pretty easily. And for me, that's a very, very good point because it's going to be more easy to make the distinction between the different surfaces. I can go pretty strongly on the wheel, for example, and on some future faces I'm going to want pretty dark. So as you can see, I apply a two layer of panel line on all the different glasses and now I'm going to apply just a few on the back part like that. So that worked pretty well and that creates some life and natural things on some few parts. And as you can see, I come back with my with some blue red uh, from AK, just to pushing some edge highlights on the part who take off some mistake down by uh, the panel line. Uh, when you apply the panel line, sometimes it's going uh, to move not in the good way, and uh, with that step, you can clean up a few. Uh, every edges uh, were, was uh, rich uh, in a uh, in wrong way, just with some blue thread from As you can see, there are some few parts I need to paint again in red. Just because sometimes, yes, the panel line is not necessarily perfect and is going to move not in the good direction. But I think I, I have um, a real gain of time by using it, so let's work. Okay. 
and here is the results uh, when the entire uh, miniatures is already painted uh, once again you can find this complete tutorial directly on my patreon page and huge thanks to all of my boss on patreon and this guy is awesome and helped me a lot to create more and more content for my channel don't hesitate to join us on patreon to have more and more content see you soon for the next tutorial bye bye